how have you guys rated his sort of decision making, how he's seen the field, the choices he's making, things like that? I thought it was one of his better games. I mean, I, I can look back on last year's four starts, and then this year, you know, in, in I thought it was uh, I thought it was good. I thought it was good. You know, he had a couple throws, uh, but just as relative to where he's throwing and the design and the defense, uh, I thought it was good. I thought he played well. Talk about the impact, if you don't mind, of Teron Armstead and how well he played Sunday. Yeah, I, I, listen, it's, it's, I can't tell you the significance of, you know, a player like him or a player like Ramchek. And now some weeks we're running left or right based on the defense's personnel and other weeks maybe based on our personnel. We weigh all those things into account. Some weeks we're going both ways. But, but Toronto can landmark uh, an end and at the end tries to come maybe underneath, he can capture that and the ball can go outside and, and so because of that athleticism, the horizontal width to holes gets increased. And if you don't have that, it can be decreased. Hey, Sean, you mentioned uh, Cam Jordan's absence yesterday. How impressive was his trick just for a guy playing that position to not miss a game for that many years? Pretty remarkable, right? I mean, pretty unbelievable, especially considering that position. Um, it's one of his many great traits is that durability, staying powers, conditioning level, and um, uh, I think it's a testament to the type of player he is and how he works. I know that this week you're an 11-and-a-half-point underdog. It would probably be the biggest. I think it is the biggest since you arrived in 2006. Is that something you could potentially use as motivation or something that you don't care one iota about? Honestly, I wouldn't. There's certain times, I, I, it's a great question, but I think that each week there's reasons. I don't, I don't know that we all pay close attention anymore to, like, who's the favorite, who's the underdog. or uh, you, you know, I mean, you get a flavor during the week as to, hey, we know we're playing a good team. We're playing the team just won the Super Bowl. And it's playing outstanding and playing very well at home. And, you know, it's always been – we've had some battles, but um, – I don't. I don't. I don't think. I'm pretty sure that's something that I'm not going to bring up. Like, hey, guys, we're. You know, no one's respecting us. I mean, part of that is, you know, how we played recently and the injuries we've had, and there's a number of things. And so I don't. I don't see that. Um, I don't see that being a factor in how we prepare, both. You know, for the game mentally, and I. It's a division game that that's significant. It's like these COVID numbers around the league are starting to go up. Are you all like really putting an emphasis on that, especially you know entering this critical yeah. of the season? Hey, you cross your fingers each day. You know when they come in, we've seen it all. I mean, last year, one in the morning, waiting to find out if we had a fullback, and then we saw you know what happened to Denver, and then our Carolina game, and um, <clears throat> hopefully the league ourselves and everyone's you know kind of on the on the right half of the dial where it's going to gradually um, decrease, but certainly it, it hasn't gone away. In that sense, do you do you modify what's, what you've been doing or do you just continue to do what you've been doing that's, that's been oh, successful? I, look, I think you pay close attention to it, especially when you come off of, John, like, a, you know, we so we played a Thursday game and then guys had a little bit more time. It's, it's not our bubble that – you worry as much about is is it's what's going on outside the bubble before it comes into our bubble. You know, um, that's the big thing.